If you're using video to market your business, one little insecurity you might have had at one time or another is, am I good looking enough to market my stuff with video? Well, I have a story for you on that subject that I'm hoping is gonna help a little bit. I have a very vivid memory of the voice teacher I had back in college. He was a short, kind of chubby little opera singer guy with his big mustache, and he was quite a character. I love taking voice from him. I feel like he really got me, you know? In fact, in some ways, he kind of got me a little bit more than I got myself at the time. One day during my lesson, he presented me with the next song he wanted me to sing. It was Stay With Me, sung by The Witch in Into the Woods. It's a great part and a great song, but as soon as I laid eyes on the sheet music, I burst into tears. He was so confused. Finally, I asked him, why do you keep assigning me songs for old women and ugly people? <laughs> See, I was still thinking one day I was gonna grow up and be a Disney princess. Except, as it turns out, that's just not in the cards for me. And I had to come to terms with that. After a solid 20 minutes of tears, he was finally able to convince me that roles like that, roles that we theater nerds like to call character roles, are actually some of the best roles to play. His point was, those ingenue types, the Disney princess types, they're not actually all that interesting because they're all the same. Now, here's where this starts to get really cool for you. This means you do not have to look like a supermodel to market effectively with video. You just have to embrace your type. We actors love to whine about typecasting, which is the word we use to describe what happens when directors make casting decisions based on looks alone. But the fact of the matter is, everybody does it. We all make judgments based on looks. And by nature, we're just more likely to buy from people we find attractive. So although this might be kind of a tough conversation to have with yourself, it is important at some point to think objectively about how to make the most of what you're working with, aesthetically speaking. With that in mind, here are a few things that you might want to consider when it comes to embracing your type to use video in your marketing. Number one, it's mostly about confidence. I mean, come on, how else could you explain the fact that people of all shapes, sizes, and colors, and backgrounds have been able to build amazingly successful personal brands? What's the difference between them and people who aren't successful at this? Confidence, baby! If your body language and your tone of voice is subtly apologizing for who you are or what you look like, or if you feel like you're somehow broken and you have to try to pretend you're something you're not, it's gonna be really hard for you to be effective on camera. Authentic confidence and charisma really make a huge difference, which is why in my coaching program we have some really specific exercises about how to bring that out so when you get on camera it's the best possible version of you. Number two. Lean in to your different. Remember, colorful characters are the most memorable, so don't be afraid to stand out. Don't be afraid to be a little weird. In fact, you might even wanna take your natural quirkiness and kinda embellish it a little, pump up the volume on it. You can use your clothing, your hair, your makeup, your backdrop, the filter on your camera, all of these elements to create a sort of feeling about the character you wanna create. You want that feeling to be specific, interesting and clear. But the question remains, what sort of image should I really be creating for my brand? Which leads me to number three. Number three, cast yourself for the customers that you want. Whatever you do, do not take this as me telling you that you have to limit your marketing only to people who are gonna find you attractive. That's not at all the point here. The point is you do have to be clear about who you're talking to and you have to figure out all the different things that you can do to become the type of person that this audience is going to need to see to be persuaded to make a buying decision. So if, for example, you want to attract a more high-end clientele, then you need to figure out how to give your videos that high-end look and feel. In my Captivate on Camera program, you learn a ton about how to achieve that high-end look on a budget, but for now, let me say this. This is not about being phony. It's not about trying to play a role of somebody that's totally foreign to you. Whether or not you realize it, we're all playing a part. Throughout our lives, we're always stepping into different personas or different versions of ourselves to achieve different outcomes. So if you're gonna be playing a role anyway, why not play the part of the person your perfect customer needs you to be? Or at least do whatever you can to create the types of videos that that customer might wanna see. If you're not doing that, it's highly likely that you're not making as much money yet as you could. So now that you know that, the question then becomes, but how do I know who my perfect customer needs me to be? My answer to that is number four like attracts like. That's why a lot of married couples look a lot alike. So does that mean you can only market to people who look like you? Not necessarily, but it could be helpful, at least as you're first getting started. In my experience helping people make money from their personal brands, I almost always find that some of their most enthusiastic supporters are the ones in the same age group and the ones who look and sound and feel and act and think like they do. Now, that being said, I don't want my fellow ad nerds out there being like pouring through the Facebook targeting options trying to target people with brown hair and blue eyes who are 5'4", because one, it's not possible, and two, that's not the point. This is gonna happen naturally 
naturally. That audience is going to be naturally drawn to you. So you might be wondering, well, if that's the case, why even bring it up? Here's why. Because if you're flat broke and your life looks and feels like crap right now, unless you make some significant changes to your mindset, whether you know it or not, you're going to be attracting people who are in the same mental state as you are. This is not pseudoscience. This is straight up psychology. We naturally gravitate toward people who make us feel good. Period. So if you don't feel good, if you don't feel confident that you can deliver the outcome you're promising in your marketing, you have got to address that. You have got to fix that if you want your videos to be effective. Of course, there are ways that you can accomplish this. Even if you're not like a gajillionaire or experiencing like insane results, you can work with a coach. You can work for free a little bit to build your confidence. Or if you don't totally believe in your product or service, you can change the business you're in. I mean, it's not too late. It's never too late to change your plan. That is how important it is to believe in your product and to believe in yourself and to believe in your ability to deliver if you're going to be marketing with video. Of course, there's no way for me to know for sure which of these options, if any, is going to be important for you. But I can tell you this. You have got to show up as an after. If you're marketing with videos, your videos must be aspirational for the people who watch them. There are a ton of ways to make this happen, but it does have to happen. If it doesn't, you're not going to create any sort of desire for the next step in this journey. We've got to make you and your video and your message and your product look good. I am not saying you have to look invincible like a perfect sort of robot person who never has a problem. Everybody deals with challenges. We all have imperfections. But let me remind you of this. It is not your customer's job to be your therapist. Don't think that just for the sake of being honest and vulnerable, you have to unload all your problems on the video's viewer. If you want to sell effectively, you cannot afford to weigh people down with whatever internal baggage you're dealing with. That's for private time. Because when you're on camera, yes, your personality matters, but let's not forget that these videos are not about you. They're about the viewer and how you can make their life better. If your marketing video does not educate, inspire, or entertain the viewer, then it's not a marketing video. It's just wasted time and narcissism. And let it be known that sometimes there's a really fine line between the two. Sometimes it just comes down to your headline. Because even if your video is super valuable and awesome, if your title doesn't make that clear, guess what? It's just more wasted time and narcissism. It's not going to work. But that is a conversation for another time. For now, let me circle back and drive this home one more time. There's no reason for you to have to cry like I did about your type or to try to be someone else. There is absolutely nothing wrong with who you are right now. If and only if you're smart about putting a positive spin on the character that you're creating for yourself, then you don't at all have to be a perfect supermodel to be effective. In fact, it might be a whole lot better if you're not. I can tell you from experience that for me, being and looking a little bit different has been an incredible asset. It really helps people feel like I'm approachable, like I'm not this distant, you know, like unapproachable, crazy person they could never be like. I'm just a normal human. People love that about me and they will love it about you too. It's not about being gorgeous. It's about being memorable and being memorable is awesome. So when we work together, whenever that day comes, here's what I want us to do. I want us to take the best of you and pump up the volume on it, figure out which pieces of it to highlight and then figure out how we're going to talk about all this in a way that's going to be relevant for your customer and in a way that's going to make them want to buy your stuff. That's where your marketing starts to get really, really powerful and exciting. But here's just a quick heads up. You might have to do a little bit of tricky mindset work first. You're going to have to find a way to see and feel how awesome you already are and then really just get to this point where you embrace and love your type. Even if you discover something like I did back in college that your type is something akin to an old lady or a scary witch. <laughs> That's all I have for you today. I hope this has been helpful. I am Brittany Bullen, owner and head nerd at nerdygirl.co. Until next time, I will still be here obsessively diving into finding out all the little things that make it possible for you to sell more stuff.